everyone! Welcome to another Hey Mom Day video. It has been a hot minute since I've given you guys one of these, um, since before October. October is one of my busiest months and I did a little bit of a different take on Vlogtober and wrote letters to October which was really fun. Something different for me. I enjoyed it but nothing else really got put out because it's all I had time for. Um, so here I am back and it is officially the holiday season in my house. As you can see my Christmas tree is up. Some people call me crazy, that's okay. I always say it's never too early for magic, so every November my tree goes up early. Um, my house is all decorated and it's super festive and lovely in here, which is good because I have a ton of activities, Christmas activities and all sorts of magical little things happening and I need more than a month to do them with the kids, so this works really well. Now that the holiday season is here, which is, if you can't tell, my favorite time, I'm really excited to start posting more videos on here. Um, I feel like this is the best time for me to up my posting game, even though it's very busy. Um, just because there are so many things that I want to share with you guys. I have a giant list. So, right now, in this video, if you have something you want to see, uh, something you want me to do this holiday, um, put it in the comments below and I will add it to my list because I'm going to start doing Christmassy type videos in November so I'm really excited about that. Sorry if I come across a little bit frazzled, it's because I am a little bit frazzled. I sat down and I was all calm and I had my tea and then like eight things happened at once that needed my immediate attention and I had to restart this video a few times and it was just a little bit of chaos so now I'm like okay please nothing else happen for two seconds. So here in southern Alberta, Canada, we already have like three feet of snow and it's been really, really fun. We've been sledding already and I'm just ready to relax and just embrace the season. This is my favorite time. Like I know a lot of people hate the time change and I agree the time change happening sucks, but I feel like this time is my prime time, if that makes sense. I just feel like this is the time that I run best on. I am able to wake up earlier. I struggle with waking up at my normal time during like the, the summer solstice time change area. Um, and I feel like this is this is the proper time. For me I don't know maybe you guys feel opposite but this just feels the best for my body and the way I function I just feel like I'm on my A game during this time change so I like it so since we last had a sit down video um, like I said I've just been really busy life is just crazy because October um, Cody and Mackenzie had their birthday it's this kind of this time it's like October November December and January and February now are just kind of jam-packed with like holidays and birthdays and just a lot of activities which is really fun but it can it just keeps it keeps me going <laughs> so and then throw homeschooling in there and it's just a little bit insane so I just wanted to pop in here and say hello and to kind of get the ball rolling and I felt like I needed a starter video before I like start launching into posting all of these videos which I'm really excited for. I have so many ideas and Cody says he's going to join me in a few. I'm definitely going to do Vlogmas but I feel like I'm going to do vlogli Vlogless, Vlogmas earlier than just December 1st because as I said several times the um, festive season just starts earlier for us which is exciting. Next week is Santa Day, like we're doing photos of Santa next weekend, or this this weekend I guess, it's Monday, this weekend. And that is so much fun because our favorite Santa is the one at Bass Pro Shop. They do this big event where Santa like walks in from his sleigh and he walks in in this big Santa winter jacket with all his helpers and all the kids get to trail behind him to Santa's Wonderland. And then you, they serve milk and cookie, or milk, they serve hot chocolate and cookies to everybody in the line on that opening night because the line is long, but it's so worth the wait, and they make it much more enjoyable. They come and talk to you, and they give you treats while you wait, and there are tons of activities for the kids to do while they wait, like they are, there are crafts to do, and little games to play. We love it. The kids love it, and it's one of our favorite things that we look forward to. And it's always the thing that kicks off the season for us because it starts quite early. So I think it's it's the 12th um, 
in Canada this year, and I think it's the 11th in the States. Um, yeah, it just says both dates on, on the site. So we're really, really excited for that. Not to mention, Bass Pro Shop also has like the most legit looking Santas. So it's super special. We bought Mackenzie her new um, season, Christmas dress for Christmas photos and then Christmas Day she'll wear it again. So she picked out a dress all on her own this year, which is really exciting. And then Grayson wants to wear pink, so I already have a pink outfit for him, which works very well. And I tried to see if Mackenzie wanted to coordinate with him and wear a pink dress too, but she was like, no, um, too big for pink dresses now. So that's a thing that's going on. She's too big for stuff now. In other news, life is going swimmingly over here. Um, it's hard to be like, what have you been doing? Cause you guys see me, but so much happens that's not filmed. So um, we've, we had our homeschool meeting, which was really exciting. That's when one of the, like, we are assigned a school board member teacher person who comes around twice a year for an in-home visit to, um, the fall one is to kind of go over your goals, see what you're doing, make sure you're on the right track kind of thing. And um, then she'll come back in the spring and see what we've accomplished and just make sure there's growth. And I met her for the first time. We met her for the first time. She was very lovely. I'm very pleased with this school board we picked. We're with um, like a private charter schools school board and they have a great, great homeschooling program. And it's just, I feel like it's so perfect for us. We're traditional homeschoolers. We're a little bit unschooly. Traditional in Canada means it's parent led and parent directed and not um, like government curriculum. So it's just, it's very child led and we get, um, I'll be honest with you, we get really good funding with this school board, which I uh, did not know before. And so that's just a really awesome bonus and it just makes it more comfortable to go out and do a lot more things. We get to go on a whole bunch of field trips if we want, like with the other homeschool kids, there's tons of meetings and just a lot of opportunities. Um, Mackenzie is really excited to make some new homeschooling friends because right now she doesn't have any friends that are homeschooled. So she's really excited to kind of venture out and she's finally at that stage where she's ready to like come out of her shell and go meet other kids that don't live close to home or anything. So it's, it's really exciting. And it's exciting for me to see that for her. So homeschooling has been do, uh, going very well and life has been going very well and now we're just excited to kick off the season. Um, I don't want to talk your ear off too much any more than I already normally do. So again, let me know what you want to see this holiday season. Like give it to me. What do you want me to film? Because I, I keep getting messages about people saying like, we want to see more Christmas videos. I love your Christmas videos. Uh, give us more festive videos, Mrs. Claus, please. <laughs> so um, let me know what you want to see. I have a big list, um, but if anybody has any different ideas that I might not have thought about it, a thought about, wow, I can't speak. Any ideas that I have not already thought about, I would love to hear them. So you guys have been really liking these book reviews I do at the end of these videos. So I'm going to give you one. This book is, um, not found in store in North America currently. I got it on Amazon UK. You just paid a little extra shipping. It actually wasn't that much, but I really love this book. Um, and this book that I read recently, well, I finished it a couple weeks ago, but I, again, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I never got a chance to review this book. So it's called All That She Can See by Carrie Hope Fletcher, who is also here on YouTube. If you don't know the Fletcher family, you are missing out. They are a family from the UK. It's Tom Fletcher, his sister Carrie Fletcher, and Tom's wife Giovanna. They are my favorite YouTubers by far, which I don't think I've ever like, sometimes I get asked like, who do you watch? I watch the Fletcher family. They have tons of channels between them, not tons, but a few. They're just good people. They're good people and I love them and they're talented AF. They like sing and dance and write books and do awesome stuff like uh, Giovanna has a, a podcast called Happy Mom Happy Baby that I listen to every week. That's fantastic. Check it out. But Carrie Hope Fletcher wrote this book, one of many books that she's written. 
already writing another one and it's called All That She Can See. Everything, every little thing she bakes is magic. This book was lovely. It was just a good, easy, fun read, but it made you think about things a little di deeper, which I really enjoyed. So it's about this girl named Cherry who has this ability to see people's feelings. So um, she's nicknamed these, these feelings that show themselves as monsters. She's nicknamed the Medlums. Um, and so it's basically, she can see them attached to people's souls, like just trailing behind people. And they're different looking kind of beasts. And so she can see jealousy and sadness and loneliness and um, rage, just anger, all of these types of emotions that people have. And she sees the more negative emotions people carry around with them. And so she set out, she discovered that she could put her positive feelings into baked goods. And so she set about trying to make people happier and shrink their medlums by um, giving them these, these positive, like, these positive infused baked goods. <laughs> and she ends up meeting somebody that's similar to her and they go on this enormous adventure and I really enjoy it. It's just a really neat idea, the whole seeing feelings. And it, it, the emotional awareness in this book is really great to see. Um, there's a lot of diversity in this book, which I really like. And it was just a good, fun read. And it's also a really beautiful love story in this. So I highly recommend this book if you can get your hands on it. Um, it's I'm really trying, I'm really enjoying UK authors. So I'm trying to get my hands on a few books from the UK because I really like, I don't know, it's just a little bit different than the way things are typically written in North America. So I really like this book and if you can get your hands on it, I recommend it. It's a good light read, as heavy as the topic at hand can sometimes be. It's really magical and lovely. And on the other note, because I don't know when I'm going to tell you about this, my bookmark just fell out. It sucks. Isn't this bookmark cute? It says made of stardust. I got it at chapters. So, um, I'm currently reading The Rules of Magic um, by Alice Hoffman. I just started this book. I picked it up a couple weeks ago. Haven't picked it up yet. I've read like literally like two pages. Um, but I will review this once I've read it. But that is what I'm reading right now. And then I'm going to try and find something Christmassy to read. I have a few things in mind. But if you know like a really good fun fantasy type Christmas book for adults um, that you can recommend, let me know below, please. Because I would love to pick up a couple Christmas books just to be really seasonal. Alright you guys, I think I've rambled enough. Sorry it was a bit of a rambly vlog, but I am going to see you, I'm going to see you a lot in the next two months and I hope you're ready for it <laughs> because I'm really excited to actually dive into YouTube and kind of um, make this particular hobby my top hobby for a little while. So that's going to be really fun. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about what I should do for, or like what you want to see for um, holiday videos. Thanks for watching as always. Thank you for all the love on all of my Dear October videos. I really appreciate it. It was totally out of my comfort zone. Um, got a little more personal sometimes and I just, it was something new to try and your guys' feedback was great and I really appreciate that. So I will see you very soon. Take care.